What's up, people? It's your man, Irvin Lover, reporting from the Mobile. Hey, check this out. Check this out. Hey, look. First, I'm going to say like this, man. Y'all know how I feel about my man, Larry Nance, and my man, John Clarkson. I mean, for those that follow me on my channel since I first started making the channel, I've been telling you guys over and over again, my favorite two players are Larry Nance and John Clarkson. Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm happy for John Clarkson. I'm going to be honest with you. I told y'all before. And I said in many videos, I said the way that the league organization been treating them, the way the fan base been treating them, hey, man, go get yours, bro. Go get yours. Don't worry about this fan base. Do what you got to do. Go out there and get yours. You know, because um, at the end of the day, listen, with the with the emergence of Josh Hart and Ingram playing in the backcourt, it was pretty much pretty much uh, determined that you weren't going to be here. You know, I, I'm going to say this. First of all, kudos to Magic Johnson Palenka. For not letting their left hand know what their right hand is doing. Because in this time, day, and age, social media, man, is like a freaking time bomb. It could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. You know, everything, every time the Magic Johnson or the front office would say something, it would be leaked out. And it just gave a bad, um, it, it just sent a bad um, situation into our locker room. You know, and that's why I say we should do what the Clippers do. Just make it happen. Don't don't talk about it. Just make it happen. Because we don't want to have stuff constantly leaking out and, and to the point where it affects the, the, the morales of the players. That's why I like the days of old when social media wasn't a big thing. You know, we didn't have social media back then. All you know about, you pick up a newspaper the next day, such and such been traded. Like, wow, who been traded? You know what I mean? You, 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 you know, that's the only way you'll find out. You wouldn't really know about the trades until they, you know, until it even happened or probably a couple of days before it happened. You know, especially on the trade deadline. I wouldn't know all the, like, the social media is now. So, you know, fans, you know, fans today, they have much more access to a lot of things. So kudos to Matt Johnson, Palenka. Um, not letting people know they even had me fool. I thought they were out of the LeBron James sweet stake. That show you right there. They're back in it. They definitely want LeBron James. They're trying to go after LeBron James. But I did tell you guys that the Lakers are not looking at 2019. They're trying to get a free agent this offseason and 2019. I said in my last video and people try to say, oh, no, Urban, they, they're going for 2019. I said, no, 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 no. They're going for this year. They're not going to wait around. I mean, they have enough money to get one, even if Jordan Clarkson stay there. But now with Jordan Clarkson gone, and Larry Nance gone, it frees up much more money. Larry Nance was just like a, a, a just a, a bargain chip they just threw in there. Because it really was just Jordan Clarkson. A lot of people know that. It was just Jordan Clarkson for, yep, I said Thomas, Channing Fry, and a first-round draft pick for just Jordan Clarkson. They threw they threw Larry Nance just because of uh, 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 hospitality. You know, and plus on the, on the simple fact, you look at it like this, Lou Walton still to this day has not, Develop Kuzma at the three spot. So you will have had a large jam at the power four spot with the emergence of Brooke Lopez, you know, playing pretty good. Cause like I said, Brooke Lopez, since he's been playing, like he get over 20 something minutes, we've been winning majority of those games. So Larry Nance was like the odd man out. You've seen it the last couple of games where Larry Nance wasn't getting that much minutes. And, and also, you know, you got to get Kuzma going. You know, he's a young guy. So, and Larry Nance, like I said, Larry Nance, Larry Nance is like one of them guys. I like Larry Nance. I just like him. I just, I've been saying over and over again, the big problem with Larry Nance, he just didn't take the shots. Very high energy guy, just didn't take the shots. So I knew that, you know, he was, he was throwing in the mix for anything. They try to move Julius Randle, but, you know, everybody feels as though like they're not trying to get up a first round draft pick for Julius Randle. They want to get him a second round pick. And it was like disrespectful to the Lakers for organization to make a move like that, knowing that Julius Randle got a, a, a higher ceiling, you know, but. I, I'm hoping they keep Julius. I'll be honest with you. I hope they keep Julius. I think it's time just for one year, one extra year, whatever, and they go from there. That's cool. But anyway, you know, they made a move. But let, I'm going to say this real quick about Cleveland. And then I'm going to get back to Jordan Claus real quick. All right. If you look at the Cleveland roster now, all the guys that were dancing in the poster with LeBron James, only one left is J.R. Smith. Well, you say Tristan Thompson, but it's gonna, nobody going to take that contract. But they try to move J.R. Smith as well. Dwayne Wade, they try to make uh, negotiations to send him back to Miami. <laughs> Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose, and um, and Shepard, they're gone. You know, um, <laughs> freaking uh, it, and freaking um, 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 Shannon Fry, they're coming here, and we get the first round draft pick. Which I, you know, like I said, I'm not really big on it. That's cool. We get a first round draft pick, but my thing at the day is that that show you right there. Cleveland had much more, much more um, love for um, Jordan Clarks than their own, than our own fan base. You know, I'm just being honest with you. I mean, Jordan Clarkson, you know, all that just for Jordan Clarkson because, like I said, Larry Nance was just thrown in there. 
And Cleveland, like that, they, you know, they wipe me. They, they did just say, listen, we're tired of prima, prima, prima donnas, you know, just dancing around, crying and complaining and all that. You know, no, nah, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to bring, look, we're going to do whatever we can to keep LeBron James happy. Look, in that last game when LeBron James shot that, that winning jumper over Minnesota, over Minnesota to win the game, you notice when IT went, um, first of all, G.R. Smith, G.R. Smith went to him to get a uh, chest bump. He totally ignored G.R. Smith. <laughs> when past IT, IT tried to get something. He went to the 15 man on the block. Yeah, the 15 man on the block, the guy who don't get off the corner, the guy who always gets chased off the corner, don't get no sales. He went to the 15 man on the block and gave him a chest bump. This unfamiliar superhero, you know what I mean, look like Clark Clint. He gave Clark Clint a freaking uh, chest bump before he gave all the you know, the prima donnas uh, chest bumps. That was funny as crap, man. I said, oh, yeah, they done. You know, and and, that, and like I said, even though, you know, Dan, Danny uh, Gilbert and um, and uh, and LeBron James might have like a, 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 a love-hate relationship, but he knows that it's a business aspect. I'm, look, I'm going to do whatever I can to keep LeBron here. I'm going to make LeBron happy. So I'm going to get rid of all these guys that ain't doing nothing for the team. Because you got all these high, 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 first you got to think about it. If you look at Cleveland, if you look at Cleveland, all their players, my hand's a little ashy. I've been working out, man, and I need to put some lotion on, but I'm ready to take a shower anyway. I just had to jump. I want to make this video be quick. But anyway, if you look at all the Cleveland players, all these guys are probably alter ego type of players. Might be alter ego. I mean, the ego is just way up there. You know, these guys, you know, they're actually past superstars. You know, you'll think that all these guys, you know, you have a chance to beat the freaking go to state Warriors. Say, you know what? This is just too much. Too many, too many uh, egos and too many personalities. We got to get them out of here. So they went out and got a whole bunch of young players besides Hill. Fresh young legs, man. I mean, Rodney Hood, man, he a stud. I mean, a lot of people sleep on Rodney Hood. But you look at Rodney Hood and Hill and that backcourt, that defense, with LeBron playing, going, hopefully going back to small forward. So you'll have Hood and freaking Hill in the backcourt. And you'll have Jordan Clarkson and, and Corver coming off the bench. Well, Jordan Claus most likely gonna probably be uh, running the point with Corver. Woo! I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm happy for Jordan Clarkson. But you know, but and then also on top of that, you know, they, like I said, they got rid of a lot of players. Larry Nance, he gonna, a lot of people say Larry Nance might not get no time. He gonna play time because of his energy. And LeBron James gonna probably make sure he get in there because LeBron James run all that. But anyway, they just trying to hold on to LeBron. But that's that's a, another topic. Whenever I start making videos, man, about other sports, you know that you know about the whole NBA as as a whole. But right now, let's talk about the Lakers, man. I'm just excited. Because one thing about it, you know, I, I get to see my man, John Clarkson, finally move on. Now, is he going to stay with Cleveland? Who knows? You know, I mean, I still think that he still goes somewhere and play for a team that he can get a chance to start. And the reason why I say that, because, you know, fans today, they'll say that John Clarkson has reached his ceiling. I sit back and I laugh at these guys. Um, John Clarkson and Julius Randle, to this day, has not played over 35 minutes as a starter. Both of them are averaging in, in the 20s, like the low 20s. I think they just, Juice Ju Randall just started getting like 28 minutes. And fans will base it off, say, oh, they're not starters. But if you look at them a plus 35 minute, they will both be averaging over 20 points easy. Jordan Clarkson fits this generation of type of basketball style only because it's much more of a shoot first pass friendly type of um, system now. I mean, um, um, game, this league. But I said before that Jordan Clarkson did not fit, Larry, I mean, I'm sorry, Luke Walton's, um, play style he didn't fit it he didn't fit it because at the end of the day his thing is about ball movement John Clark didn't fit it that's why a lot of fans like oh he holds the ball too much but if you go back and watch not just John Clark but if you watch Westbrook um Hill um Chris Paul James Harden um and that's I'm naming even Steph Curry I mean I'm naming all these guys not really Steph Curry I'm gonna say Steph Curry I'm gonna throw him in there because he he bought into that 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 Steve Curry motion offense but if you look at these guys I name you know Look at uh, freaking just look at the way they play the ball, even Conley. The way they play, the ball is in their hand 90% of the time. They're the ones making the plays rather than shooting, even uh, Lillard. They're shooting the ball and they're passing. You know, it's, it's a, like I said, it's, it's a shoot friendly guard system. So, Joe Clark will, will, he will flourish in his system. The Lakers are going a different direction, and I got that's what I said. That's why everybody got rid of Lou Williams. Lou Williams didn't fit the system. IT is not going to be there, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, don't. Get so caught up in the tweet that Magic John sent out about, you know, welcome them IT to the Lakers. And then another tweet came out, not by Magic, but by um, sources stating that the Lakers are going to do a long-term deal with them. First and foremost, IT doesn't fit Lou Walton's system as well. 
He's a shoot first, pass second type of guy. It's not going to work. I'm going to let y'all know right now. He's only there for an expiring contract. Him and Channing Fry. if anything, I can see Channing Fry getting re-signed because he's a shooter. The Lakers need a shooter, and they got a wing shooter, somebody who can play the, uh, who can play the power forward and a small forward and a little bit center, depending on the matchup, they can knock down the three ball. So Channing Fry, give him that. We didn't have that. You know, well, I mean, we started developing our players. Josh Hart started knocking down. Brooke Lopez started making shots. So it makes sense. So you give Alonzo Ball more more fire to play with, and IT Tech, like I said, IT I said IT Tech, <laughs> I, 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 IT number one. You gotta think about it. Once again, you know he's coming off an injury, and I want to make sure I hit this in the bud because a lot of fans are stating that you know he's injured. You know he's a shadow of himself. No, no, no. Like this, when you go to a team, excuse me, when you go to a team, and you're not really happy with that team, you can tell right off the bat he wasn't happy with Cleveland. He gets there. Not even a month of playing. This guy's already complaining about players and 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 the and, 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 and the team itself and all that. He's already you know becoming a um a fuse within that locker room. You know what I mean? That separating people and all this and that. You know he's calling out things, saying things that Kyrie Irving probably wanted to say himself, but he just decided to leave. So it is just saying things, speaking on a lot of things. They say you know what we can't have this. This LeBron team, we gotta get you out of here. So in retrospect to that, he's speaking like that. He only did that because he wanted to get out. Simple as that. He don't care. He still hurt from Boston, you know, trading him like that. He still hurt from it, man. You can see it. That's why he's a shadow of himself because he's he's not really in the mode right now to play the game. Hopefully he go to a team where he can, you know, be it again and be able to dominate, man. But I don't see him fitting Lou Walton's system. Lou Walton's system is he's trying to get he's still trying to push that golden weight, go to state warriors system. And that's why I say Larry Nance would never fit it because Larry Nance don't shoot. If you look at Go to State Warriors, everybody on the team shoot. Everybody can shoot or make shots or make jumpers, learn that. And plus, it was like I said, I, listen, the Lakers, like I said, Lakers are still in the street state to get LeBron James. That's common sense. They want LeBron James. They're going to do whatever they can to try to get LeBron James and try to get another um, another um, superstar free agent this offseason. 2019 is still up in the air. The Lakers are not going to wait that long, even though they if, if, if opportunity is there. If they only get one this year and they're able to get another one, um, 2019, that's cool. But they're going to try to go for two this year. LeBron, PG-13, DeMarcus Cousins, they are the biggest three that's on their label. And the beautiful, the beautiful thing about the Lakers is that they're not letting the media know their hands anymore. they just like, you know, we're just going to do it. And that's where they should have been. Stop letting everybody know what you're going to do and just do it. So that way, when you make the move, you know, the fan base be a little upset, but they understand. We are trying to, you know, they're trying to empty out contracts. That's why I told people the only way the Lakers make a move is for expiring contracts. Simple as put. They want expiring contract. That's why Jules Randall, they were trying to trade Jules Randall for um, Noel. And in reality, if y'all think about it, they were actually doing Jules Randall a favor. Because here's the thing. Uh, when they were trying to trade him to Dallas, they were being respectful of Jules Randall because here's the thing. Jules Randall is a native of Dallas. So they say, okay, we're going to try to go take you to Dallas so you can go back home and play in front of your hometown. So they were looking out for him. So if the Noel situation would have went through, Jules Randall would be playing in front of his hometown. Noel had an expiring contract that would have just came off the books. Then they would have seen, you know, if we can get, Le um, um, I'm not Larry, sorry. If we got LeBron James and, you know, if we get LeBron James and then we add people around him or if we got two superstars, we can make moves. But if not, then we'll resign certain players that we got expiring contracts with. But that was the whole thing in a nutshell. But the Lakers try to move Julius Randle. All they were offering is like second round picks or exorbitant contracts. And they're not looking to add more money to the books to go uh, over a year of this year. Now, here's the thing. If Lou L. Dang contract wasn't ex was, didn't exist, then the Lakers would have made certain moves. But they can't make moves until that Lou L. Dang contract falls off the books. If Lou L. Dang contract falls off the book, the Lakers can pick up three superstars. So... That's why they said 2019, because if you think about it, Luol Dane being his last year of his contract after 2019, they could trade Luol Dane to a team and, and, and let them absorb that contract for that one year to, to open up opportunity to actually get a, you know, get a player. So there's a lot of things the Lakers could do in 2019 going forward, but they're looking to get somebody this year. They're not going to, okay, they see what they got. They know that they need a veteran to run with these young players. So... Kudos to John Clarkson, man. I'm happy, man. I'm happy you're going to another team, man. I'm just hoping that you take this in stride, my young brother. Focus more on your game. Show show people that, you know, not really show people, but, you know, show yourself that you can do it, man. Because I, I believe in you. Like I said, I was a big fan of your, your um of you when you came to L.A. I was a big fan of Larry Nance because I like your humbleness, man. Y'all the only two people that accepted your roles. I know somebody stated that the uh you was kind of mad because you didn't start. That's why you were pouting. No, you was pissed off because you weren't getting the playing time. And you was being taken out every time when you had the hot hand, which makes sense. I'd be upset, too. If I'm dropping 
if I'm shooting 50 something percent from the field and I'm I'm beating teams and you take me out and I gotta sit out four or five minutes or almost the whole freaking quarter and you don't bring me back in until like the fourth, yeah, I'd be upset too. So yeah, I understand where he was coming from, but a lot of fans they just they they they, they might be somewhere else. But man, I'm happy that Jordan Clarkson is gone. Um, I'm hoping that they trade Julius Randle, man. I really do because. I want to see I want to see Julius Randle at Dallas, man. I like like I said, I like these young players, but at the end of the day, I want them to be happy. I know it's a business move, but at the end of the day, I understand emotion, I understand feelings, because I know where I know what it means, dude. I work I don't even want to talk about it, but I worked that job for 13 years. And when when another company bought the job and I got screwed over and I lost, and I don't get tell how much I lost, I lost a lot of money when I went with this company. I was hurt. I was emotionally hurt because I gave all my time effort with this company for 13 years. Never took a promotion, stayed where I was at. Helped the company grow and all that, and then when another company came in, they, they wiped me. You know, they they took all, my, they took a good portion of my money. Now I'm an entrepreneur, and I love it. I enjoy it because I can move around. I want to move. So, John Clarkson, man, hey, keep your head up, brother. Learn this. Keep your head up, man. Take this in stride, man. Motivation, one on one, baby. Do your thing. Get out there. Pump. Show the league that you belong, man. You know, don't fall into the wayside like my man, um, Monte Ellis, man, because Monte Ellis still got a game and nobody pick him up, man. So, don't fall into the wayside. You still young, brother. Um, take everything, whatever LeBron James is teaching you, taking his stride, listen, uh, understand, and just play, man. Just go out and play, man. Look, like I said, shout out to the front office for not letting nobody know what you're going to do. I'm happy. You know, Cleveland just, I don't know. They, uh, it, Cleveland can go two ways, man. They, like I said, they're loading all these players, man. They can get ready for moving on without LeBron, or they can say, okay, we're going to, you know, try to make, bring people in to make LeBron happy. They, they, they can go two ways, and I don't want to talk about that, but I'm just happy the Lakers did what he had to do. Anyways, your man, Urban Level, like, share, subscribe, get in the comment section, tell me what you think about it, man. I know some of y'all should probably be upset, but a lot of y'all understand the situation. The Lakers are trying to bring, you know, they're trying to get superstars. That's common sense. You know, they just letting, they ain't letting a lot of people know what they're doing, and that's good. I'm glad they're not letting a lot of people know what they're doing because, you know, it, it don't need to be a distraction in the locker room, and the players need to play. So as long as you let them know what's going on, you're playing, you know, that's the beautiful thing of all. We still, we're still 22 and 31. We're still scratching. We got OKC um, tonight. Uh, Camilla Anthony won't. Uh, well, they say Camilla Anthony might not may, might not be there, and Westbrook might not be there as well. Both of them dealing with some type of strain. Camilla, he had them a couple uh, elbows uh, from Julius Randle down low. Yeah, I don't think he wants to see Julius Randle uh, so soon after a couple games ago we just played him. So you know, a couple blows to the chest and stomach, he might start fighting. Anyway, <laughs> y'all have a good one, man. Like I said, we just keep scratching. We might have a chance to make that um that first, you know, that um that a spot, man. But I just don't I don't I don't see the IT fit in, man. I just don't see it, man. I like I said, I just think it's a um it's an expiring contract dump. That's how I look at it. He just making IT feel comfortable. And that's what Magic John's supposed to do. You ain't supposed to let your left hand know what your right hand doing. So make IT feel welcome. But then at the end of the season, you go a different direction. He did the same thing with D'Angelo. You know, pumped up D'Angelo, the next thing you know, bam, he was gone. So I don't think the Lakers are keeping IT. They just pumping him up. And that's the best way to do it, man. You know, because you want to keep the, you know, you want to keep that juice pumping. You know, we don't want no distraction coming into our team. We don't need it right now. We got too much, too much distraction at the beginning of the season and up to now. So let's keep it rolling. Hey, it's almost 18 minutes in this game. I got to great get out of here. Y'all have a blessed one. You know what I do. I love you guys. Be safe out there. Take care and enjoy your day.